Hello everyone, it's Constance, and I hope I'm not alarming you with my appearance. Um, yesterday I went for a morning walk, and I got jumped by three young men. Um, and I was shoved to the pavement. Um, and then robbed of my cigarettes, my lighter, and the hat that I was wearing. And they took off. It, it all happened so quick. Um, a police report was made. Um, and this isn't the first time I've been jumped. So it's, it's traumatic, but I've dealt with it before. And I was really, really surprised that my DID didn't kick in yesterday. It might stay, who knows. Um, dealing with the aftermath and how scary it was. Um, yeah, so I kind of just wanted to give that little update, um, I'm okay, I'm fine, my husband has been of great support, and even though I pissed him off by not letting him know until well into the afternoon. I I didn't want to interrupt his work day, especially considering that I was fine. I just have the facial scrapes and bruises. I've got a scrape on my hip, left hip, and my left knee. Um, that's the extent of the injuries, and I don't think this was a hate crime. Um, I wasn't overtly femininely, femininely dressed at the time. Um, I was wearing jeans, my puffer jacket, which kind of hides my chest, and I was wearing my favorite Marvel baseball cap, so, and no makeup, so, it's not like I was out there flaunting my stuff, like I could have been doing, and the only thing that I really heard them say was check the pockets. They were very quiet. Um, and like I said, it happened so quickly. I was, um, I had stopped to light a cigarette and I was on my way and then the next thing I know I was being grabbed and shoved to the ground and held down while they rifled through my coat pockets and and boom they ran off. So my husband Derek um, called the local uh, Christian University where I was somewhat located by to see if maybe they caught anything on any of their cameras because I didn't get a good look at who they were. All I knew was that they were white. Um, and considering how I hit my head, everything else is really a blur. So yeah. I didn't hear anything as far as any slurs or anything like that. Um, if they were said, I didn't hear them. 
So I'm not calling this a hate crime. And I told the police that. Um, they took a picture of my face and obviously gave me a report number and said that they would contact me if they had any information. Which I'm not expecting anything to come of it. I've been through this enough times. It's... I really even hesitated to call the police at all. I just... I lived in a very, very, very bad part of town in my hometown of Kalamazoo and that's where a lot of instances of being jumped had occurred. I was one of the few white people in the neighborhood and I always was on my back, or watching my back. Um, I've let my guard down since moving here to Mishwaka. I, I've, we live in a pretty decent part of town. Um, so that was disheartening, to say the least. So that's a little bit of an update as far as what's going on in my life. Um, I have videos that I want to do, but I want to wait until the injuries start healing up a little bit better. Um, I may do them off camera, um, depending. So yeah. That's where everything is at. Thank you for watching. Love and light. Cheer you up.